Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today we will discuss about a string type question. This question is very very important for your placement and upcoming coding test. Okay. So the problem is has take and needle problem. Here is the question. You have to return the index of the first occurrence of needle in hashtag. So the input given as hashtag. This is the string, and the string is hello, and there is another substring that is needle. Okay. And it contains ll. Okay, so you have to return the index of the first occurrence of needle in hashtag. So the first occurrence of this ll in this hashtag is zero, one, and two. So this is position two. So you have to return two here. Okay, so or minus one if the needle is not a part of hashtag. So if the substring is not present in this hashtag, then you have to return minus one. Okay. So suppose in this needle there are suppose this small a is present. Okay. So this small a is not present inside this hashtag, so you have to return minus one. Okay. So if this is empty, suppose this is empty, needle is empty. So for that you can return a zero. Okay. So there is a constraint that the hashtag length and the needle length will be between this zero and five into ten to the power four. Okay. We can use integer here because in this range we can use the integer. Okay. So hashtag and needle consist of only lowercase single characters. So the input string contains only the lowercase single character. Okay. So for simplicity, let's see. This is the string. Okay, so hashtag is a string and the needle is a substring. Okay, and this is a substring and here was small l. Okay, so the output will be two here. Okay, so hope you understand the question. So let's write the code. So first of all, write the basic format of the C plus plus. We'll write as include. Beats standard C++ dot h because all the header files are included in this beats slash standard C++ dot h. So next, write using namespace standard. So first, write the main function here that is int main. So inside this main function, there will be a string and a substring. Okay. Suppose the name of the string is s and this contains hello okay and there is a substring also so suppose the name of the substring is sub and this contains small l okay so now we'll write a function or we'll do all the operations suppose the name of the function is string string okay so str and then str so suppose this is the name of the function and We'll pass this string and substring from here. So for that, write here s yes, and then s u v. Okay. So before this main function, write the same function here, and the return type will be integer. Why the return type will be integer? Because it will return the position. So here you can see it will return the position. So for that reason, we'll write here return type as integer. Okay. So next, write the new other function that is string string. So inside this, write this two string that is string s and then string suv. Okay. So now we'll check if the string is empty. So now we'll check if our substring is empty. So if our substring is empty, then we'll simply return a zero. Okay. So for that, we'll check using the if condition if substring dot empty that is if the substring is empty if this is true then we'll return a zero okay else else what else will find the position of the substring into the string okay next we'll find the position of this substring into this string so for that we can use a built-in function which is find. Okay. 
so find function is very helpful for finding the position okay so how can we use the find function so here we want to know the position of this substring inside of this string s yes. okay so for that what you can do so first write the string name that is s dot s dot find okay so this find function will find the position of this substring so for that write here sub okay so this will find the position of this substring inside this string s so for that write here s dot find and inside this write the substring okay so this will calculate the position of this substring inside this string s okay so we want to store this position into an another variable suppose the now the variable is found okay so let's write here the variable and store the position into this found variable okay so now the found variable contains the position that is 0 1 and 2 okay so the found variable contains the position 2 okay so for this input and output the found contains the position 2 here now we'll check if if the found that is the position is not equals to minus 1 or not okay that means if the found is not equals to string in pause that means until the end of the string if found is not equals to minus 1 so in pause contains the default value as minus 1 okay so if the position is not equals to minus 1 then what will do will you return the found so will you return found that is the position okay so if the found is not equals to string in force that means so found is 2 and this is not equals to string in post string in post means until the end of the string okay so it will return minus 1 so the in post will return minus 1 and the found is not equals to minus 1 and until the end of the string so found is 2 so 2 is not equals to minus 1 so will return found from here okay so if this condition is not satisfied then what will do will return minus 1 so why will return minus 1 so here you can see in the question minus 1 if needle is not a part of hashtag that is will return minus 1 if the substring is not a part of string okay so for that reason will return minus 1 here okay so after returning this we want to print it as output so for that right here see out and this will print the output okay so now let's run the code so okay friends here you can see our output is 2 and this is perfect output and our expected output was 2 okay so this is the whole question and hope you understand the concept of this question and you can check it also by giving another test cases so hope you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe it now because it will be helpful for your upcoming examination so thank you friends thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care